Let's just go straight to the village, I guess. Let's try to decide. Um, what I was doing was part of the main quest. Now I'm just focusing on side quests since I've got to wait for a little bit. And I think that if I get the one thing done, then I'll get, like, you know, a bonus of sorts. Oh, don't do that game. So, you know, I'm just focusing on trying to find all these little notes there. And if I complete it, then who knows, I might get something special. It's like around here. Okay. So just gotta teleport over to this camp. And I'll be able to reach it. Got it. I'll just go over there, pick up the note. If it tells me two of three, then that's the one I missed. And if it tells me one of three, then that's the one I found. Or rather, if it tells me nothing at all, then that's the one I found. So I'm working on the Nadaig Frasamen at the moment. And I'll just keep going through them all. So now we got these beasts that are trying to attack me. Fuck you guys. <laughs> How about I save my progress before anything goes wrong? Nothing should go wrong. At least nothing in combat at this point. But you might be right though. It might be best to save my progress at some point. Just so that way I know that if I don't take too long. Okay, yes, I did found this. Alright, so where am I going next? Magsva. Magasva. Alright, so... The way out's just over here. I remember where Magasvar is. That's Hikmet. That's not that. Uh, oh, wait, hold up. I'm already in Magasvar, and that's not what I meant to go. I meant to go to Frasolnegad. Gosh damn. Root door passage. Root door camp. One of the notes is in the paths. I'll just check you again, even though I know at this point it's futile. Yep, you still don't have it. Resolution gets a bit blurry like it gets depixelated, then you start moving or in combat. Or when you start moving or in combat. Yeah. I mean, this game is a double-A game, so there's gonna be some issues once in a while. I mean, there's only been a few bugs. Nothing, like, severely game-breaking or anything, but enough to annoy me. Oh, look, the path is open. Alright, let's go inside. Because the thing I'm looking for... Oh, never actually, from the looks of it, I never actually explored this location. Because it's still, uh, there. Oh, you think it might be the setting of my stream? I mean, that's also a possibility, I suppose. Nope, I went too far. I wanna go down. Here we go. I mean, it could be Stream Labs, I guess. I'm noticing it too. It is kind of looking like it's deep pixeling a bit. I just wonder if when I download the stream, it's gonna look like that. I mean, I don't think it'll do that, but you never know. Ooh, an intuition check. Here we go. Yeah, here's the note. To my comrades, be careful. The magic of the beast who roams this land is stronger than the natives. Try to protect yourself from it, and if you see symbols appearing on the ground, flee. Huh. All right, but yeah, if you do play this game, my recommendation, I mean, this is me just trying to do a try-build, um, which, I don't know, I think I did a pretty damn good job with it, but some other people might disagree. If you want to, like, wear the armor I'm wearing, you need to have two points in endurance so you can wear it, and, of course, I also put all my points in accuracy and agility because I was focusing on swords and guns, and then I put four points in the willpower because those are the ones I had left, and I was able to get the, uh, you know, best necklaces and everything but when it comes to talent points i recommend you just put two points into everything and then if you have certain companions along they can boost your points by an extra point so you don't have to wear armor pieces and of course you can also work on putting capes will increase your charisma but you can also put on like a little attachment to your chest piece which i did for lock picking otherwise though, if you get your companions to become friendly with you they can also give you bonuses and these other things like if i had kurt with me i'd have three points in craftsmanship i have siora with me so i got three points in vigor and i got three points in science because i have afra and then of course if i had vasco with me here i'd have three points in intuition and then if i had petrus with me i'd have three points in charisma but i already have three points in charisma because you put on a cape and that automatically gives you an extra point of charisma it's kind of funny all right but enough of that let's find the third note which i believe the guide says it is here you just have to get out of this place i already had to be in this place for a major quest before so right behind the tree which tree though maybe that one i think i see a light yeah there it is letter from soldier of seraphed in this expedition the expedition was a trap i knew that the fallen the switch through a door made of roots was a bad idea the horned beasts who lived here 
does not approve of our presence at all. One of my comrades was grievously wounded, and I am too afraid to return to get him. As for me, I am stuck here, and I will certainly die of hunger. I tried everything, and at one point I was so full of rage that I made the beast lose its bounds. But unfortunately, it quickly recovered, and I had to run for my life. Cursed be this professor and his foolish research. I am so hungry I could eat my boots. Oof. That sucks. All right. Now I gotta work on a Diag Vitamin. Let's go to Magsava again to check that one place. Went to the wrong location. All right. What's the closest? Yeah, that one. I've already been here, so shouldn't have to deal with anything. Sure, might have gotten a note here. And it's... Oh, that was a side quest completed. That was a weird delay. Alright, but I feel like I might have taken this one from here. <sighs> also not seeing any evidence of it coming back like the other one did that one time. Timer's going off. Stop. Save. Ah, crap. Gotta hurry up and wrap this up. Gotta go run and get there. All right, now I'm just suddenly level fifty-five. You guys are annoying me. But I am pretty sure I went ahead and got the note here, when I think about it. I want to have to start another fight, okay? I just want to get to a camp real quick. And now, pause the game and wait. That's right there. There's something blocking the way there. Alright. If you're still here, Great Jedi, I am finally back. Just went and picked up dinner. It was literally just a walk across the street, so... Where do I need to go? Actually, no, I can, I can still do it from... No, let me go back to the travel menu. I just need to figure out where I'm supposed to be going for the next note. Vedville V. Hmm. Wait, did I get that note too? What am I working on? Now Dag Vedamin. Let me see. No, I only got one note. And I'm pretty sure I got the note that was here because I didn't find it. So maybe I missed it? Hmm. Near the paintings on the rock. Alright, we want to be heading there to see if we didn't pick up those notes because I'm looking for notes that I only have one out of three of. Just trying to tie up all these loose ends because I am pretty sure I'm near the end of the game, so... If I could beat it tonight, that'd be awesome. No, nope, went too far. Oh, here's a body. Old rusty key bearing the coat of... Hmm. Alright, there's the notes. One of our carriers was attacked by a majestic squamp creature. Yeah, I watch anime shows, Great Jedi. Um, my current favorite is, you know, like, of the new generation is Black Clover, though My Hero Academia is also a good one. Um, My Hero Academia is definitely better animated, but I like Black Clover's story just a little bit more. Um... What I mean, like, otherwise, I also like some of the early 2000s ones, like Naruto. Yeah, Black Clover. Yeah, it's a good one. At least in my opinion. The animation can be buggy sometimes, but otherwise, it's got a really good story. The main character is pretty much a homage to all previous Shonen characters before, and or Guts from Berserk. He's definitely got some of the vibe of Guts. Well, not the personality, definitely not that, but other than otherwise. Yeah, the voice... If you listen to it in a Japanese dub, it can be pretty annoying. I've gotten used to the Japanese voice actor just because I play the game Jump Force a lot, but I usually watch the English dub. That one's a lot easier to go through, especially since Dallas Reed, even when the moments where he's supposed to be loud, he's not, like, ear-piercing loud, which is nice. But anyways, the page from the journal, one of our carriers was attacked by a majestic swamp creature. One of these creatures, the names call... Nadag Vitamin. It took him away with his large tentacles before we had a chance to do anything. We attempted to help him. We eventually managed to cut off the appendage, but unfortunately the poor boy was already dead. We will have to be more careful in the future because and he got cut off. A bit literally, I think. Alright, back to the camp. Alright, where do I need to go? To your dob, you'll find a note next to the lion tree in the chest. It requires lockpicking skill. 
Level one. There's two dob. We'll just travel to the village and then figure out where I need to go from there. All right, where's the nearest camp? The swamp entrance camp, okay. Well, okay, I guess I'm initiated in combat from something. Oh yeah, that. These beasts are annoying and they're also pretty poisonous. Whoa, 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 I just noticed my health. Alright, but no, I know you wouldn't have anything against the English voice actor. It's the Japanese voice actor everyone was complaining about. I just realized I'm trying to talk to you and you keep saying I, I'm too quiet during combat. Press the wrong button. Alright, but anyways, Jedi, now that I'm not fighting, I was talking about how everyone doesn't like the Japanese voice actor because he's too loud. Um, but, you know, the English voice actor, he knows what he's doing. I mean, he's loud when Austin needs to be, but then, you know, his voice just doesn't sound too annoying when he has to be loud. I think it's this tree. Uh -oh. More creatures. Hey, 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 hey. Settle down there, children. Alright, but I do recommend you give the show another chance. Like, if you can get through the voice acting and how loud the main character can be, whichever dub you watch, English, Japanese, you'll like it, probably. I like it, at least, so. You know, I just hope that other people will like it. Aha, here's the chest. <coughs> and there's the letter. I son, I do not know what got into me when I decided to join the expedition, but I should have listened to you. We have been pitifully wading through the swamps for days, and we have already members of the expedition as if they were taken away or poisoned by a hideous creature resembling the demons of Teleme. Perhaps some priests would have a better chance of defeating it, but our science is completely powerless. I have been coughing terribly since yesterday, and I know that the poison has finally gotten to me too. I love you and bid you farewell, my son. Yes, I have watched Ryzen of the Shield Hero. That did bump up to like one of my top 20 favorite anime, probably somewhere close to the top 10. Alright, I think we can all agree though, fuck mine. Just fucking hell. Alright, I have found none of the notes to the Needhog Glendaman. Break Blade, I don't think I heard of that one. I don't remember hearing about it. So, I'll have to say sorry on that one. Alright, what's up with the double O's there and the period? Are you like, surprised that I haven't watched it? It's a good anime, but unfortunately it was incomplete. Oh yes, there are many like it. There's anime like Blood Lad, and um, they haven't continued, no not Soul Eater, uh, Blue Exorcist yet. Those are the ones I have completed, so. I'm going to, yeah, Verdrad. In the Ruins of the Hut. I'm going to choose that one. Nope, still haven't updated the inventory again. <laughs> oh, did I start swearing there? I don't remember swearing. And, okay. Go to that camp, then. Because the note is just in this little hut. Letter from a Professor Seraphedon wrapped in a package. My friend, I hope that the messenger will bring this letter to you as instructed and will find you in good health. This expedition is definitely full of surprises. In fact, we have just made quite an extraordinary discovery. As we were rather unsuccessful trying to... Alright, I will try to check out the anime at some point, Grey Jedi. Alright, where was I? Magi, I haven't watched that one yet. It's on my list, though. As we were rather unsuccessfully trying to sedate one of these majestic sea creatures by giving it different types of potions, we mistakenly given it a, poison I mean, a poisonous alchemical preparation. The creature seemed as if it was writhing in pain as it dived back into the sea. I hope that we did not kill it. In any case, one thing is certain, these creatures, unlike those from the swamps, are very sensitive to poison. Looking forward to seeing you again, Sarah Fedden. It's like right next to the camp, which is perfect. Alright, we want to go to Glend Namava. To the right of the camp, not far from the ruins. It's that camp that they're telling me to go to. Still haven't updated. Well, actually, they did update. They just still haven't given me the commander's boots. Like, seriously, what the hell is up with those? Let's see. To the right. Hmm. They don't seem to specify exactly where. There's somewhere on the right here. Maybe in here? Yeah, there we go. Another excerpt for Professor, Professor Sarah Fedden's notes. The view from these ruins is really is outstanding, and I managed to observe one of those magnificent creatures who live on the seashore without it noticing me. The shell of the Nadai Glenderman seems to be as robust as a crab shell. 
And what a surprise it was to see that despite its sheer size, it was capable of hiding in the ground in an instant. Disappearing from my sight only to reappear further away, we have so much to learn from these noble creatures. It is easy to understand why the natives worship them. Oh, if you only knew. All right, where's the last one? Wen Shagana, next to the water. Well, I guess it just makes sense to go to the camp near the water. No, chose the wrong camp. Chose the one further off. I should have chosen the Wen Shavea camp. Oh well, it should be right around there. I can run there. Fine, you guys want to start a fight? I have no time to deal with you. All right, well, we got rid of those guys. Wait, what's this over here? Oh, there we go. Message in a bottle. Oh, Grimoire of Fantasy and Ash. Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. I don't think I've heard of that. To whoever will find this message, please send it to Professor Seraphedin. Professor, I was attacked by a sea creature you wanted to observe. I used an alchemical preparations. You gave me an attempt to inflict some magic damage, but to no avail. I managed to hide in some rock formation where the beast could not find could not reach me, but unfortunately I do not know how to get down now. I hope that you will find this message and come to my rescue. Probably not, considering that I'm pretty sure he's dead. Uh, let's look, uh... Yep, just gotta bring the notes to Mr. Deconcilion, I think is how you say it. <clears throat> I haven't talked to him enough to remember. And then we'll head back and complete the game, probably. What if? <laughs> I said that I don't think I've heard of Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash, Grey Jedi. Yeah, they still haven't bothered updating. I just want to give Vasco the commander's boots. And I have n yet to be able to find someone who's selling the commander's boots. At the very least, that fucking vendor who usually updates is not selling the commander's boots. I was just, um, I'm wrapping up one of the side quests, Trev, with, uh, Mr. Deconcilion. I think that's how you say his name. Yes. I decided to do that while I was waiting. I just also realized. My dearest cousin, I'm so glad to see you. You are um, right on time. We have visitors, and your advice would be most welcome. Let me introduce you to the emissaries of the Bridge Alliance and Teleme. Seeing them both in the same room is rather surprising, isn't it? I didn't mean to but start please, this, I don't know. Your Excellencies, explain to us what brought you here. Sire, I have come to humbly request your help. We have been sustaining terrible attacks. Really? Are the natives behind this again? Unless it is those traitors of the guard. We aren't sure, but it is almost certain that the natives are involved. Governor Burren is hoping that you could send him your cousin, as well as some troops. It would seem that we are in a similar situation, sire. Our city has been sustaining terribly violent assaults, and our losses are great. Our mother cardinal is begging you to send her some help as soon as possible. Oh, dear allies. Knowing that you are in such a delicate situation fills me with sorrow. However, the size of our troops has greatly reduced after the horrific attempt at a coup. But regarding sending my cousin, he's already very busy undertaking a mission of the utmost importance. Without even mentioning the fact that what you describe fills me with fear for his life, which is most precious to me. <sighs> no. I really don't see how I could be of assistance to you. Constantine. We cannot remain deaf to the call of our allies. I'm sure I can find time to go and evaluate the situation. I would love to accompany you, but my people are being wrongfully accused. I am certain of it, and I want to prove it. Very well, my dear. You know I cannot refuse you anything. But remember how urgent it is for this antidote to be found. We're so close to it now. Don't worry about it. You know how important this mission is to me. Well. This audience is coming to an end. Your Excellencies, inform your governors of my cousin's arrival. I hope that you realize how grateful you should be to him. Absolutely, sire. And we thank you both for receiving us. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Well, no, this is surprising. It's not exactly what I expected to see once I got here. All right, so Siora's suspecting, though, that it's um, a fluke and that people are just accusing people falsely. So, I suppose she's not going to come along with us if we do those quests. I'll have to 
substitute her with someone else. Maybe Kurt or Vasco, since I haven't talked to him in a while. Actually, Kurt and Vasco have been on the sidelines for quite a bit now. As well as Petrus. Basically, all the guys have been on the sidelines, so I could choose either, any of them. Sir de Corsillon. The Sade, my young student. What can I do for you? I found some notes which were lost by Professor Serafedin. His expedition was far from easy. Investigating such gigantic creatures is bound to be perilous. Indeed. Unfortunately, we also found his corpse. I'm sorry. Oh, poor man. His devotion to science cost him his life. I will make sure I share the works you have brought me with his family. With these last few sheets, it looks like this is everything. Such an amazing work. This man was a genius to Sade. And what a huge loss his death is. I cannot express how thrilled I am to immerse myself in these notes and study them. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? All right. So there's still at least two more camps, though. But I can't Looking talk to him about to those for now. Again, Sir de at least I want to save it until I have completed those. All right, so should I handle these now or hmm, actually no? I'll take care of no. You know what? I'll make a save real quick, pardon, and see if taking care of the Malachor business first will lead to uh something that happens with those two cities. And while I'm in New Serene, let's go to one of the other vendors and see if maybe they have decided to stock up the commander's greaves yet or boots. Commander's boots, Commander's Freeze, just one of the two. Nope, he doesn't have them. Your... Alright. Well, we can just travel back to the one guy by going over here to the port, because there is a way to fast travel from there. Make a hard save here. Nope, no updates, of course. No, I wasn't even facing you. Why are you asking me to speak to you? Focus on this quest. Why are you focusing on another one? Unless, who swore you wanted me to be here? Alright, where is he at then? If he's not here. Oh, wait, no. I get it. I'm supposed to go. Got it. I get it now. All right, you are here. There you are, Karantz. How was the encounter? Enon Mil Frichtman welcomed me like a mother would welcome her child. Or you will have to meditate on everything he told me and think about the warnings he gave. But now he's waiting for you. I will open the way. Once you are in the sanctuary, always stay on the right-hand path and keep a confident heart. Those who let doubt take hold of them and turn back risk awakening the guardians of this place. Okay, so I should take his advice, stay on the right-hand side, and not doubt myself. Okay, let's get going. All right, so I'm coming up to a fork in the road, and that's why I need to go to the right. Unless, Doomcoast has given me a trick. Because he's talked to NL Mirfrictamine, and NL Mirfrictamine does not seem to like us. At the very least, he doesn't seem to like Constantine. Alright, NL Mirfrictamine. I would like to ask for your counsel. I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own children. Her veins rocked in stagnant water. 
for the earth now bears poison fruit, and her children wither and toy. And still it is those same children who can heal the lands, and with them heal themselves, if they only want it truly. Hmm. They could be taught by my children, learn to give back in return, learn to heal. But for that, I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow, taking form. Fed by the venom of intrigues from faraway lands, he spreads it today in my sap. To save his own life, he stole my strength, and that strength has driven him mad, because it is not made to be taken. He draws each day a little more from me, and threatens us all. His hunger has no limit. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call Constantine. You must stop him. Or there will be no cure anymore for anything or anyone. That... that's impossible. How could that be? You must leave now. Someone has followed your footsteps. Uh -oh. Someone has entered here <coughs> without invitation. My children are waking and tracking. They will attack all of us. Uh oh. Flee, or you will be dead. Yeah, probably for the best that we run then. What the fuck? What kind of magic was that? I haven't seen any magical fire breath beams. Could be electricity breath though too. Okay, question. Um. Okay, well maybe I'm just. No, that's another path. I get it. But still though, who came here? Oh, I saw a man running out of the sanctuary, and I heard the cries of creatures inside. Is everything all right? Did you manage to get the answers you were expecting? Yes. He told me that the Malachor had appeared because of the way the Colonials have treated the Earth. It's actually some kind of... poisoning. And it would be possible to cure it, but I'm not sure that I understood how. Words that come from the heart of the island carry with them a wisdom, which may sometimes be difficult to grasp. If you need help, I would be glad to be of assistance. Mm. My clan knows how to heal the Earth. Thank you, Dunkus. I suppose I just need time to think. You haven't told me everything, have you? <laughs> there appears to be a storm weighing down on your forehead. It is true. But it is something I must verify by myself. Oh, I see. Do not hesitate to come and find me if I can help you. Qua aulum secarans. Goodbye. Achievement unlocked. Enel Mirfictamin. You entered the shrine and spoke to Enel Mirfictamin. There's something I need to check real quick. Um, Amen Hide is the one region where I haven't set up a camp, and Dograid. And I'm missing a camp. Oh, the camp's right there. Okay, so I get that one, and then there's that one that's been sealed off that I can't get yet. Once I have that, everything will be complete. What's over here? Oh, that's how I got out. Got it. Okay, I have to get going. Fast travel from the camp. Inform Constantine about the sanctuary. Uh, no, let's, let's go here. <sighs> Though I should transfer companions over because Siora doesn't want to deal with either of them since they're blaming her people, even though it's probably not. So we'll have to see. All right. Still hasn't updated. It sucks. All right, well, going off to the Desode residence in Hickman. Quickly switch out companions for a quick spell. Can't bring along Petrus. All right. All right, did that even work? Oh yeah, it did work. Let's figure out what the hell's going on over here. Lord Desade. 
I've been hoping you would come. Your Excellency, I heard news of the attacks against Hikmet. I am ashamed to once again rely upon your kindness, but our situation is quite desperate, and you have proven such a valuable aid to us in the past. How might I be of service to you? Animals, creatures have been attacking us relentlessly. They throw themselves upon our defenses day and night. They do not even try to avoid our weapons, rushing as if to swamp us in infinite numbers. Our best soldiers fall exhausted from fatigue, the others die shredded by their claws. Please find the origin of these attacks and make them stop. If we cannot hold out, the entire population of Hikmet will be devoured. I sent a small group of trackers so that they might follow the trail of the creatures. Their last message came from a dangerous area in the hands of natives. The savages are certainly at the root of these evil attacks. Who else could have trained all of these creatures? Could you indicate the zone in question? Alas, no. I didn't get the information. You must meet their officer who will know how to guide you there. She's leading our troops in the outpost at the entrance to the city. Very well. I shall depart immediately. Be so kind as to keep me informed. This affair is driving me to madness. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? No. I have to go. Because I need Before to figure to out what the fuck is going on here. Farewell, my lord. Dealing with the attack on Hickman real quick. We're just gonna run there because there's a store that's like right outside that I could probably go to. And I hope that it'll have the commander's pants, but I doubt it will. Nope, just the captain's boots. This part reminds you of Dragon's Dogma. I actually finished up that game recently on stream officially um all the parts were broken down now on and they're being uploaded to youtube all right let's see if they've got oh, that's just a long barrel musket huh she can't use pistols but she can use rifles that's all right it doesn't look like you don't have any items that i require so i'm leaving you gotta hurry up and run up there oh i'm starting to see some of the bodies oh and what do you know the outpost is being attacked right now Ow, stop it. It's like Battlefield 4. You can use AK-74, but you can't use M4 or Tar-21. Alright, are you guys still alive? Looks that way. You managed to make it through. A group of these enraged beasts managed to get past our defenses. Yes, we fought and defeated them. But how did they make it through? My men are exhausted. We killed some of them, but we were overrun. Our situation is getting more and more desperate. I don't suppose I need to warn you about the dangers of this road. Actually, that is why we're here. Governor Burren sent me. He wants us to find a group of trackers. And I hope that he'd sent you as reinforcements. Silly me. It looks like all we're good for is dying to protect his bloody city. But you wanted to ask me something. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Governor Burren is hoping that I can find a group of trackers with your help. I'd like to see you try. Indeed, I was ordered to send out a party of scouts, which I did, despite our losses. They were supposed to find the bastard who's been sending us these critters. One of those savage sorcerers, no doubt. Can you tell me which way they went? Sorry, Your Excellency, I won't tell you anything until I receive some help. You have to understand, I hope that these men are alive. They are also under my command. But those who are here with me now are my main preoccupation. And as we speak, they're dropping like flies. Not to mention the fact that if this outpost falls, there won't be much left to protect the city. So you can go and tell the governor that if he wants me to help you, he will have to help us first. I understand that your situation is desperate, that you want to take care of what appears most urgent. But it's not simply about me saving a few men. It's about stopping these attacks once and for all. By getting to their root cause, I intend to put an end to it. And then any help you hope to receive won't be needed any longer. You hope that you will stop these attacks, but you have no way of knowing whether you'll manage to do so or not. Sorry, Your fuck? Excellency. Make sure you tell the Governor what I've told you. Maybe we can avoid going to the Governor and save time. There aren't many of us, and I don't have any soldiers to give you. But perhaps I can still offer my help. We were supposed to receive a shipment of ammunition and medicines, but we're still waiting for it. If you can bring it to me, we would at least be able to heal ourselves and have enough bullets to sustain these assaults. Do you know where this material came from? From your city, New Serene. The caravan transporting it was supposed to pass through here two days ago, 
It must have been attacked. But with a little bit of luck, its cargo should still be intact. Very well. I will retrace the path. It shouldn't be too difficult to find it. The three of you won't be able to bring the crates back by yourselves. Two of my men will accompany you. Please, hurry. Without them, we're even less likely to hold. We're departing right away. I must go. Alright, let's Goodbye, hurry up Captain. and help out the outpost, because these Excellency. bitches are gonna complain. Hope it's just, like, right out here. Soldiers, are you the ones who are supposed to help me search for the caravan? Yes, Your Excellency. We're ready to leave as soon as you wish. I'm ready. Let's go. We'll follow you. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, they have to stay close to me, otherwise, uh, I can fail the mission. <laughs>